uses Dialcop for Microsoft. Always amazed about that. It's an analyze tool that checks your code for coding style and design guidelines. So Stylecop, I've been using long before you guys ever heard of it. This is what Microsoft uses in their internal .NET team to make sure that all their DLLs and everything look consistent. You look at the namespaces and code in .NET, it all looks like it's written by the same person. <laughs> of course it's not, right? But this is what Microsoft created internally to make sure that they follow the Microsoft guideline. And so now they've made it public, it's completely free, it's open source now. I, I'm hoping, if I say this enough times, I hope it will happen that somebody will take that and do it for VB, because it only works for C Sharp. It includes analysis for code documentation, layout, maintainability, naming standards, method ordering, readability, spacing, and more. It can and should be included in your build process, so you see a report of what's going on with your code. I've worked at places that this was part of our build process. And you can make your own custom rules. Uh, which is great, you know, they've opened it up. There's a rule in there you don't agree with or you want to add one, you can do that. Perception's everything. <laughs> After you install StyleCop, it's uh, really easy to use. What I typically do is, as soon as I'm done coding a method or my class, I just simply right click on the class file itself in the editor and go to Run StyleCop. You can see here in this one class, that I have, uh, there's 2,129 violations, style cop violations. They can range from all kinds of things, but mostly it's, uh, it's all stylistic, like enum must have a document header, documentation header. The enums, you know, the sub items in the enum need to have a documentation. One you're gonna see a lot is the class must have a documentation header and you can go there and go to the uh, top of the class and it will it will take you to where you need to fix it you can see there's just there's mostly just documentation issues here you can see it also detects uh, where you're not using curly brackets correctly so what it's wanting is to go up here and, and insert these uh, I prefer this because it's just easier to read and uh, you never know when you're going to come around someday and add some more code to it. You also see here that it is violations on uh, casing and things like that. So you can see here it's telling me the warranty number is not cased correctly for a constant. So to correct this I just go in here and change that. You also see that it's going to pick up some, going to have a violation. StyleCop wants you to use the this prefix in front of all the member classes. I like this because it actually tells you exactly where this variable is coming from. So I can put in here this. If it's coming from the base class, it'll tell you to put it, put base in front of it. So base dot. It's just a documentation thing. Another one you're going to see a lot is uh, methods need to have documentation headers. It's recommended to put documentation headers on all public protected methods. So if I go to this method here, this is the uh, method it was complaining about. I can uh, just simply go above it. There's my, my documentation header. Of course, you should uh, fill it in a lot better than this. This is recommended because you can output this file and then um, create help files and website documentation from it. Now to learn what why it's finding a violation on the line of code, you can just right mouse click on the violation, say show error help, you can see it'll tell you exactly why, telling you this is a violation, and you can go onto the website and read some more of it too. And it tells you, uh, also it tells you how to fix the violation, also how you can suppress violations. So it's, it's uh, pretty easy just by using attributes to suppress a violation. So also with style cop, I usually run it just on the class. Um, you can also run it, you can uh, run it on the entire project. So be ready. And strangely enough, the style cop settings over here in the right mouse click for the for the project. I'm not really sure why. You can go into the settings and uh, change anything you want. I use style cop uh, as the first step checking code before I check it into source control like TFS. So that's style cop. It's it's again it's more stylistic kind of things to make everything look consistent. And I was talking to someone earlier before this started and. You know, this is even not only is this important for your team, but especially how many people use outside contractors? 
no matter what country. Yeah, it's it's even more important because you know they're just going to write the code and they're going to be gone in a couple months. You know, so if you have to keep on top of them <laughs> more than your own people, and that's why the build process comes in handy because then you can see exactly what's going on. And that's what I do every time, not only to make Style Cop happy, but some other stuff we're going to learn later. So that's the first thing in my process.